Welcome everyone. Here we are going to present a paper titled Effect of Trace Additions of Tin and Cadmium on Age Hardening Behavior of Aluminium Copper Alloys, authored by myself, Dr. Sanjeev Banerjee, and Mr. Sanjeev Gogoi from Department of Mechanical Engineering, Tejpur University. Two two one nine aluminium alloys is one of the 2000 series aluminium alloys which have extensive applications in space, aircraft, automobile and marine. Here we can see the standard chemical composition of 2219 aluminium alloys. Regarding microalloying, recent trend in alloy development is microalloying where content should be less than 0.1 weight percent with trace elements in order to achieve higher strength combined with reasonable toughness and maintaining lower density. The reason behind microalloying is that it permits addition of trace elements although of higher density but with lower content and these trace elements even at lower concentrations may considerably influence the microstructural evolution and enhance the overall mechanical properties but without compromising the material weight. Precipitation hardening heat treatment has two separate stages that is the solution heat treatment and the precipitation heat treatment as shown in this figure and the strengthening mechanism is by the restriction to dislocation motion by the formation of finely dispersed second phase precipitates within the alloy matrix. In the present work 2219 aluminium copper alloys were processed by standard casting technique. It was microalloyed separately with varying contents of tin and cadmium. The tin and cadmium contents were varied from 0 to 0.1 weight percent as shown in this table. The age hardening behavior was studied to estimate the corresponding aging time to achieve peak hardness. For the present alloys, a standard precipitation temperature of 170 degree centigrade was adopted to obtain the isothermal age hardening curves. Now following the standard precipitation hardening protocol, the cursed alloys were first solutionized at 525 degree centigrade for 10 hours, then quenched and lastly they were age hardened up to 52 hours at 170 degree centigrade. Now at regular time intervals of 5 hours, the specimens were withdrawn from the furnace and subsequently quenched in order to retain the hardness attained at the given aging time. For these different aging times, Vickers hardness was evaluated to determine the aging time necessary for each alloy to achieve the maximum hardness, that is, the peak hardness achieved at peak aging time. Here we can observe the isothermal age hardening curves of 2219 aluminium alloys microalloyed with tin. And in this figure, we can observe the isothermal age hardening curves of 2219 aluminium alloys microalloyed with cadmium. Let us now discuss on the few salient features of the isothermal age hardening curves. In the pre-aging stage, the hardness of all the alloys increased with aging time. Then the hardness attained a maximum value termed as peak hardness, a condition termed as peak aging. The corresponding particular aging time termed as peak aging time. Later, the hardness dropped with further increase in aging time called overaging. However, for the alloys microalloyed with tin, the hardness was observed to increase more steadily and faster towards its peak value. While with trace contents of cadmium during the initial aging stage within time periods ranging from 10 to 20 hours, hardness of the present alloys increased at a comparatively slower rate. It is during this period before reaching the major peak hardness, another minor peak could be observed in the variation of hardness which corresponds with the formation of GP zones. This peak was more prominently observed in case of the alloys with cadmium contents as compared to the base alloy. Following to this initial stage of age hardening, sharp increase in hardness was exhibited until peak hardness was achieved. Practically around 50% of peak hardness was attained by the cadmium containing alloys 
only after aging time of 30 hours. Let us now compare the peak hardness and the peak aging time. While analyzing the peak aging time, the peak hardness was recorded to have achieved at an aging time of around 24 hours for all the investigated alloys microalloyed with tin and 40 hours in case of all the alloys with trace additions of cadmium. Therefore, it may be concluded that trace contents of tin resulted in an accelerated precipitation kinetics for 2219 aluminium alloy as compared to the microalloying element of cadmium. Moreover, the same results additionally establish that trace contents of either tin or cadmium, even though individually influenced the hardness of the present 2219 aluminium alloys, but no significant effect on the peak aging time could be observed for both the cases. We will now compare the thermal stability of the hardening effect. Now after attaining the peak hardness, the slope of decrease in hardness during the overaging stage was lower for the tin and cadmium containing alloys in contrast to the base 2219 aluminium alloy. This indicates that microalloying elements of tin or cadmium can potentially induce a better thermal stability at elevated temperatures to the strengthening effect resulted from the age hardening treatment. Now, during the overaging stage, the trace additions of tin, especially at and above 0.04 weight percent caused a higher thermal stability to the strengthening effect as shown in this figure. Let us now compare the variations in peak hardness values. In case of tin and cadmium containing alloys for the constant peak aging time of respectively 24 hours and 40 hours, the peak hardness increased with adding either tin or cadmium up to 0.06 weight percent as shown in this figure. Concentrations of tin or cadmium above this 0.06 weight percent actually decreased the peak hardness. Microalloying element cadmium was observed to induce a higher level of peak hardness compared to elemental tin by around 12 percent as revealed in this figure. These are the few references regarding the present work. Thank you.